So we've done videos on Ahsoka, we've done a video on Existential Jedi Crises, and now it's time to merge them together and do a video on both. Fortunately, we have the new episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars that gives us that opportunity. And today we'll be talking about the few lessons that Ahsoka could have never learned by still being with the Jedi Order. Before we get into the nitty gritty of the video, I just want to say that I am so, so, so thankful and grateful that they brought back this series for just a few more episodes. You can tell that Dave Filoni and the whole crew has really stepped up their game. The animation looks beautiful. All the stories have been great. I'm just super grateful that they've come back for these next few episodes. All right, let's talk about it. So the few things that she could have never learned from any Jedi Master or Anakin were facing reality and realizing the mistakes that she's made. I gotta give Ahsoka some props. At the end of season five, she walks away from the Jedi Order after being wrongly framed by them in a terror case, and then she realizes that Mace Windu was blowing smoke out of his ass when he says, This was actually your great trial. Now we see that. Hey yo, what the fuck? I've never rolled my eyes harder at a character than I did at Mace when I heard that for the first time. The next time we see her, she's much older and much wiser in Star Wars Rebels. She's very clearly grown into someone that the younger Jedi of the show can lean on for advice and strength. In the end, she ends up getting across to Ezra the message and the final lesson Kanan passes on. There's no doubt that even though she's left the Jedi Order, she's a master of the Force. But that kind of thing obviously doesn't happen overnight. Becoming a master takes time and lots of hard to swallow lessons. I think we're watching Ahsoka in this new season of The Clone Wars learning one of those hard to swallow lessons while she keeps the Martez sisters out of trouble. And that's this. The Jedi are not all they're cracked up to be and there's more to the universe than just The Clone War. When we first meet Trace Martez in her shop, Ahsoka realizes she's met a person with little to no capital to their name. She does what she can and she gets by. Her sister Rafa is the same way but goes about making her own way in the galaxy differently. Already within the first few days of leaving the Order, Ahsoka realizes that the galaxy right under the Jedi's noses is suffering. The war has consumed them so much, they've forgotten their own home planet of Coruscant is in desperate need of help. In just this past episode, Rafa and Trace explain to Ahsoka why they don't trust the Jedi and stay away from the surface world. In Zero's escape from prison, yeah, remember that guy? The Jedi end up going after him in this big chase. In the end, one of the ships crashes into a wall that ends up being Trace and Rafa's home. Trace and Rafa's parents don't make it out, but they do. In the end, it was all for nothing because Zero still escapes from Coruscant and Trace and Rafa were left without parents. To make matters worse, when the Jedi come to express their condolences, all they could say was, don't worry, the Force will be with you. The teaching here is that all of your actions have consequences. Ahsoka's learned this lesson before, but on the battlefield, in terms of numbers, now she learns the lesson again, but this time the Jedi's actions had real consequences that killed innocent civilians and ruined lives. Lives that were as much a part of the Republic as she was. The actions were that of the Jedi Order and not just Ahsoka. Something that for her whole life she saw as a beacon of light and good. Now she's gotten three lessons in maybe as many weeks that the Jedi have done as much harm to the galaxy as they've done good. Moreover, what for? What has this all been for? I think Ahsoka is slowly coming to the realization since she's left the confines of the Order that the war has had almost zero impact at all. Zero escaping from Coruscant and ruining lives is the metaphor for this. The Jedi were focused on something they thought mattered at the time. They chased Zero through the streets and ruined lives in the process. Now. They're stuck in a war with no end in sight, running all over the galaxy and ruining lives. All of this is silently foreshadowing what we as the audience know is coming in the next few episodes. Execute Order 66. I think Ahsoka sees a little of herself in Trace and Rafa as well. They're young and ambitious, they have big dreams, and 
they don't really know any better. They think they've seen the worst of it on Coruscant, but until they get out into the real galaxy, do they realize that they really don't know much about anything? In the episode before this week's Deal No Deal, they think they have a spice job in the bag, but they encounter slaves and riches and terror along the way they could have never imagined. Ahsoka is having a bit of a quarter-life crisis at the moment. She's probably doing a lot of reflecting. By looking at Trace and Rafa, she sees how she was in her early Jedi life. There are countless episodes of Anakin teaching her lessons in humility, especially in the early seasons. Ahsoka was just as reckless and just as ambitious and just as eager as they are now. The point I'm trying to make here is that these episodes are more than just a fun adventure outside the Jedi Temple. They're showing us that Ahsoka has serious growing to do. They show us that Ahsoka is realizing the error of not only her own actions, but the actions of the Jedi Order she idolized for so long. And none of the things she's learning in these episodes could have been taught to her by Anakin or Obi-Wan or anyone in the Jedi Order because these problems exist outside of their worldview. These episodes begin to confirm for the audience, and maybe for Ahsoka too, that leaving the Jedi behind was probably the right choice for her to grow as a person. A great Jedi Master said, You must unlearn what you have learned. Well, here we have it. Ahsoka unlearning everything she's learned and becoming a better person and wiser Force user because of it. Okay, guys, until next time, I'll see you later. Thank you.